if this dude has a gun, what am I about to do? Yes or no? I'm like, nah, uh, nah, nah. That, that's me. What is that? That's me right there. Yo, what is up, Soul Fam? It's your boy Chris in Germany with Soldier of Life, and welcome back to the channel. Now, very soon we're gonna be doing the channel totally different, tuning, doing something totally new, totally crazy. It's not gonna be that crazy, but we're gonna be changing the format. Actually, we already have changed the format for the entire show. I definitely hope you guys liked it and enjoy it. Make sure when you start watching these next couple days, tell me some of the things that I can and can't tweak. Let me know what's going on. How do you feel about that? I'm only here for you. So, but today, we're gonna take it back. So that's only because I am currently here in America. I'm back in America. I am back in America. I don't know what that voice is, but I like making it. It makes me feel like I'm Eddie Murphy from coming to America. But what we're talking about now is the differences and the similarities within reverse culture. Now, if you don't know what reverse culture is, reverse, if you don't know what reverse culture is, that's basically when you have traveled to a different land and you've gotten accustomed to their customs, you've gotten used to their way of life, and then when you come back home or back to another place, everything is totally different. And it is really a weird feeling. It's super weird. If you haven't been through it, you wouldn't really know what I'm talking about, but it's totally weird when you get back. So today I'm gonna to be going through with you 10 different culture shocks that I've experienced since I've got here. And they really range from five positives and five negatives, depending on which side of the pond that you're on. So for me, I know a lot of people said in videos, I talk really bad about America a lot of times. I personally don't think that, I just say what I feel. So with that being said, I'm gonna start off with the positives that I feel now that I'm back in America. Now, number one, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it's probably the most important thing. Like, I would say hands down, feet down, tongue down, leg down, all of that. Number one is the gym is open. The gym is open, fam. Restaurants are open, fam. But this particular part that I'm talking about now is really only indicative of the COVID-19 thing going on. Obviously, if you've seen the news or if you're currently in Europe, right now, Europe is gonna be going on another, another lockdown, like the, the triple lockdown. It sucks and really being a person that's able to travel to both sides of the world, I kind of see it on both sides. It's like on one side, I'm personally right now in a country where it's a little bit more lenient, where the rules aren't so strict. I can literally be in here. I talk with people in this office every day with no mask on, if I choose to. I usually wear a mask when I'm moving around the offices, but I talk to people here with no mask on and it's really voluntary. On the flip side, America before was having some of the worst cases of COVID-19. And that's where being in Europe, I always felt safe. We didn't play around with no masks. You know, everything was locked down for forever. I didn't even know what eating out was. Like, couldn't even have a date night because ain't nobody having no dates up in this bitch. Like, it was very controlled. But the numbers for Europe were way better than they were on this side of the world. And it's because of that. So I understand both reasons. But for me, I don't care about restaurants. I'm a 3, 4 a.m. gym guy. That's all I care about. I can literally, if I didn't make another video and all I could do was go to the gym, I would be fine with that. And I stay like literally one block away from the gym. It's the best life right now. Number two is talking to strangers. Now, as a person that, you know, speaks not so fluently in Deutsch, but I can get through speaking in German if I had to, um, having the ability to talk to strangers is definitely one thing about America that I've always missed. Literally talking with wit, like it's just something that you gotta be here and be born with. I remember that my German teacher told me one day that English is an easy language to learn, but it's a hard language to master. You know, case in point, when I went to the restaurant one day, like my mom and my brother and I, we went to a restaurant and we were chatting up with the bartender or whatever. And then uh, one of the servers came around and they asked for something. And then she basically said like in this really witty, but passive aggressive, but you can't really read it that way 
statement that was like, yeah, I would be working if you weren't talking to this freaking family over here about nothing that has to do with our job. And it was really that sense of wit that I've always missed. You know, like being in Germany, Germany is really a, let's get to the point, you know, hey, I think you're cute. Are we getting married and all? Cause I don't have time to be wasted. <laughs> like it's really a get to the point and I've always been a gray guy. Like in my family, my brother is like black and white and I'm like 50 shades of gray. Yes or no? I'm like mm, uh, mm, mm. That, that's me. Mm. What is that? That's me right there. So I definitely miss that coming back here just having those fun quirky conversations i literally feel like i can talk to anybody if you're bowling if you're at a table over there and you're ignoring me i would talk to you and then i would laugh to myself and i continue talking to you i don't know it's just it's a different vibe it's a different vibe number three is car culture now one thing i do miss well number one i'm gonna just say driving all right here I have the ability to drive. I'm going to get my license renewed very soon. And driving is, this is kind of unfuck. This is easy, but there are huge trucks here. There are low riders, there are big rims, there's loud music, there's everything here in the sun. There's lights in the rims, there's speakers in the tires. There's, I've seen cars already being here for not even like a month. Like cars with no, like racing cars with no hood on the car. I literally seen a car with no doors on it, not a Jeep but a car that they took the doors off. I've seen all this stuff. I've seen all of it. And it really goes to show like the ability to do what you want to your property. I personally have really missed that. And really America is a place like that. It's kind of like, you know, you, hey, whatever, do what you want as long as you don't hurt nobody, it's all good. You know, and it's really like a do it yourself workshop here. Now, number four is the shopping experience. And when I say that, I mean, everything i mean everything alice i mean when you go into the grocery store grocery stores are way huger uh clothing stores have way more different well i mean for me in my personal styles way more different styles you have way more different options in stores to go to and really i think that accredits for just being a bigger country one thing that i do miss is the reason that a lot of the things that you can buy, things that are expensive, you can buy things that are cheap, but they have a lot of different ranges. They have a lot of different varieties that you can pick from. That's not so much in Germany. It's really like, if you need electronics, you go to the electronics store. If you need home improvement stuff, you go to the home improvement store. In America, there's like 95 different stores you can go to, uh, ranging on prices, you can order it online. It's just because of the mass the, the ability to have so much variety makes people be competitive. And that's one part that I missed about like capitalism. Cause you know, I don't like paying a lot of money for stuff and I like building my own stuff. Then number five is kind of a small one, but kind of a big one. Number five is really just the greetings and salutations from people saying good morning and hello. I understand, yes, we do the same thing in America. We really do. But I think the one thing that if you look on videos and you just see like, what is the one thing with Americans is like, we don't want to, we're super fake and we da 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 da. If I was going to two stores and walking down the street and doing my daily tasks and going to the gym and stuff like that, I'm talking to somebody every day. Now it's not like a long conversation, but at least hello, good morning. If you go to Walmart, you can't get through there without saying hello or good morning. If you go to a clothing store, you can't walk through the store without them yelling out good morning or hello to you. And it's like that well you know in the neighborhood i go to they do that so you get scared from stealing but you know having those conversations with people every day i am able to use my i don't know how to put it i'm able to exercise my ability to communicate now in germany if you're in a big city and you're able to you know go to bars if you go hang out with people you can talk to somebody but really I've been in the big cities before and, and I've not talked to anybody the entire day. Like I might say hello and some of the whatever, I don't, I don't know you man, shut up. <laughs> not that rude before, but I feel definitely here, you know, if I wake up, you know, hey, if I'm walking at four o'clock in the morning, walking inside the gym, the person saying hello or good morning to me. Now, not this, like I said, not to say that they don't do that in Germany, because in my neighborhood, they do it to me because they know me. But, you know, it's just, it's a little different across the board. It's more universal here. So, what's up, what's up, what's up? You good? 
You good? All right, now on to the negatives or the positives or the other side or whatever. Basically, these are the negatives that I feel being in America. And I'm not gonna lie, it really outweighs everything that I said before. This is some of the core reasons why I personally choose to live the rest of my life in Germany. Now, I don't know how long, you know, Europe or Germany is gonna be popping. You know, I don't know how long I got left on this earth. I'm thinking at least 40 years or something. A lot of it can happen in 40 years. So, uh, yeah. So number one, or number six, I guess it would be. <laughs> um, number one for the negatives or number six, I, I would say that America feels like they are the entire world. Now this goes for just about everything. I mean, most of the people that I talk to, most of the people that I know, like in general, most Americans think they are the entire world. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was so guilty of this before because before I left my own country, before I went to other places, I never really thought that way. I never had a reason to. You know, America was my world, not even that. Like my state was my world my city was my world there are people that i know that their block where they live at is their entire world so i understand it's all relative compared to how you see yourself in the grand scheme of things but i also believe that because america is so big because you know a lot of people look to us before being one of the two superpowers back in the 60s or whatever that we were so cool or something like I really feel that because we've never had to look outside for things, we've never had to like go outside of ourselves, everything is kept within, that we don't really care about other people's news. And I use the word we as Americans, I care. I wanna know what's going on. But it's like they, we, Americans, don't care about what's going on in the world. They just care about themselves. In Germany or in, in, in Italy or in France, I understand we all have our own problems, but I feel like because the countries are a little bit smaller, you care more about what's going on with your neighbor. Of course you care about your country too, but you're a little bit more involved in what's going on. I personally know when I see the news, I see the German news, and because you know Germany is only but so big, a lot of the news there is world news, you know? But here in America, it's just like, all I can watch the news and like the world news is like, unless it was like some catastrophic thing, they're not really playing that. There's, there's plenty of American news that they can play. And I understand it. It's a back and forth with being so huge, but I feel like America thinks they're the world. All right, number seven or number two, there are too many goddamn cars. There are way too many goddamn cars on the road. I'm gonna tell you right now, there are too many goddamn cars on the road. And these people drive stupid. Maybe that's just where I'm from. They drive dumb. They drive absolutely retarded. Drive retarded. If somebody cuts me off again when I'm driving down the street, I love my mom, but she has full coverage, I will hit you. I will fucking hit you, okay? I will hit you. No, nah, but there's too many cars on the roads. And this is a direct relation because American, what is it called? Uh, brain fart. American public transportation is trash. It is absolute trash. It is horrible, it is disgusting. I've taken the bus here one time in my entire life because American public transportation is trash. But you know how they get you? American public transportation is trash. So that means more people are driving at all times of the day. That means there's more cops on the road. You know what that means? More cops on the road, more people getting pulled over, more speeding tickets, more money for the country. Okay, maybe that's a little over proportion. Maybe I'm right, I don't know. But there are too many cars on the road. All right, so number three, number three, or just say number three, number eight, a? No, number three. Um, yeah, so number eight is gonna be the news and tension. It is horrible here. The tension is horrible. The news is horrible. I just got two stories for this. I just gotta put it home. So for number one, with the news, I remember as soon as I got here, I literally was in America for like 20 minutes. I was only in, I was still in the airport for like 20 minutes. I was there for 20 minutes. And as soon as I got off the airport, waiting for my next plane in the airport, I hear over the intercom. Now we're not watching it on TV. 
We're not watching, you know what I mean, like on a big jumbotron. It's just on the intercom. So you just hear it. You know how you can play subliminal stuff? And it's like, hey, don't you want to jump up and down for no reason? It's like, what am I doing? And you're jumping up and down. It felt subliminal. So we're listening to the thing on the whatever intercom and they're talking about Trump and talking about how people are supporting Trump and QAnon and the race wars and how supremacists are gonna blah, blah, whatever they're gonna do, I have no idea. But they're talking about this on the intercom and it feels like they're assembling minions sublimin subliminally through the airport. Like it's like, yeah, something, something, da da da, we support Trump. And as soon as he gives us the word, it's go time. And I feel like everybody who supports that shit is gonna be like, all right, okay. Ah! It's horrible, man. Why are you playing that stuff on the news? And I'm in the airport, dog. I was here for 10 minutes. I don't wanna hear this. I don't wanna hear this. It's crazy. And then the second story, I just gotta say, this is the, this, this is the weirdest, craziest thing I've ever happened to me. So, if you can see, I'm black. If, if you didn't know, if you weren't sure, Chris in Germany is Chris in black skin in Germany. <laughs> but I was at the, what's it called? I was at the gym. I was at the gym. I think this day I went there at three o'clock in the morning. So uh, I was leaving around five or so. And I was leaving the gym. I just got out the shower. So the thing, I'm in my boxers, dude. I'm feeling kind of, you know, in Germany, I wouldn't care. But in America, I'm feeling kind of, oh, my body. Don't look at my body. No, I'm so special. Don't look at my body. But I was in the gym or in the locker room and this guy comes in, you know, shaved dude, shaved, bald headed white dude. We're not going to jump to conclusions because we don't do that here. But he's in there talking about, uh, what do you say? He's, he's talking under his breath and he's mumbling stuff. There's no headphones in his ears. There's no music going on. And he's talking about, yeah, these people think the liberties and the rights or fire is gonna cleanse the unsafe and they think we're slaves to the master or some crap like that. I have no idea what this dude was talking about. I scared the shit out of me in my boxers. Basically t-shirt and my panties on and this dude was scaring the shit out of me. I got dressed so fast and I dipped. I'm not even gonna say it was like a race thing, but it felt like it. It felt like he was trying to like subliminally scare me or something, whatever. And like the, the reality in my head, I was like, okay, I was thinking in scenarios. If this dude has a gun, what am I about to do? Cause I was already about to say, you know, as soon as I got to the door, the door was locked and I couldn't get out. So I was like, I will take a weight and I will bust it through this window and I'll jump through that like I'm um, Batman and you better catch me in slow motion because I want to look really cool when I do it. But I was thinking these things, you know what I'm saying? And these are things I, I don't mind thinking them here because I've been to war and it depends on where you live in America, it's a battle zone. But I was thinking in these scenarios about what I would do and it's like I haven't had to do that for so long in Germany, I haven't. Just since I've been here alone, one of the posters that I put up is that there are seven mass shootings in America within these last seven days. And it's just crazy to see, you know, I understand that America is way bigger than other countries. So of course you're gonna have more everything, you know what I mean? But it's just, we're so desensitized to it now that it's, it's, it's I, I can't fathom it. I cannot fathom it. So number four or number nine, whatever, is food, fast food, and this the, the, the goody stuff. And it's like, it was cool when I got here, when I first got here, because I've been eating really clean, and I, I ate something like from fast food, and I was like, bruh, I felt horrible. I literally felt horrible. My stomach fell out the bottom of, I'm just gonna say my body, but I felt horrible. <laughs> but I just can't stop eating those Popeye's chicken sandwiches, son. They're so good. They're so good. God. The one thing that's gonna stop me from getting a six pack this year, Popeye's chicken sandwiches. I literally, I had two today. I can't, I can't help it. It's so good. And I really feel that's how it is in America, period. It's like, if you don't have that, if you don't have that self ability, if you don't have the, the fortitude, the intestinal, you know what I mean? The, the discipline to train yourself to not eat this stuff. I can see how I can really, you up it can mess you up 
you will it'll get you down that path bro and it's it's not to say it's really not hard for me because i know I'm, I'm going back to germany so i don't really care and i'm just eating it while i'm here but that stuff will mess you up in germany i'm used to eating food we cook all the time you know if you go to a restaurant or whatever it's not the same as this crap you know what i mean and it's like big donalds and burger king that's all you got you may depend on you got pizza hut or something but it's like i'm not a big fan of mcdonald's or burger king and i don't really i'm good you know what i mean but you got popeyes wendy's sonics you got i don't know what else i don't i don't even know what's here anymore i've been gone so long they got new new stuff i'm so out of it but number 10 number five or number 10 of the negatives or positive i don't know where we at right now but number 10 the one that i would focus on i think it's going to be the next video coming out tomorrow all about that and the history of uh the recycling and trash in germany but number 10 is the trash culture here bruh horrible it is it is it's trash it's absolutely trash like literally when i got here i understand that everybody's not gonna you know what i mean but after you get used to a system in Germany of recycling. And one thing I did in my video is that the recycling in Germany, whether it is, you know, feasible or not, whether it actually helps the planet or whatever, just having people, having systems in place, having people recycle and making them accountable and giving out fines when you don't, and then having a culture of people, you know what I mean? Policing each other, having a system like this makes everything look better makes everything you know more maintained and better just when i go home to germany having to sort out you know the plastics with the paper with the cans with the glass all that other stuff when you have things like this when you're sorting things out it makes you a neater person so you know let's just say he, whatever place you go to if everything is if everything you use is trash and everything is just throw it away or whatever and basically i'm a firm believer in like everything has its place and literally like when i got here to america it's just a lot of amazon ordering it's a lot of amazon and you just got boxes and then you got plastic mom dukes like to drink soda and we got cans and we got all this stuff and you want me to just throw it all together in the trash mixed with food like dude i swear to god i was like sorting out trash for the first two and a half weeks I was here. I could not do it. I could not just throw it all in the trash. I couldn't do it. But I just, you know, went in Rome, do what the Romans do, so. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm responsible. But that is all I got for you guys today in this video. These are my 10 big, biggest culture shocks for being here. Do you think there is something that I left off? Please let me know, or if I got it right, also let me know we could talk about it in the comments below but just like i said before if you're an avid watcher of this channel i will be changing the format very soon starting next week there will be five videos a week i'm very excited for that and also we need to uh get a fundraiser to get me back to uh deutschland because they canceled my ticket and now your boy gotta figure it out but i can't stay here forever but i'll figure something out but i can't stay here forever but i'll figure it out and that's all I got for you. It's your boy Chris in Germany with Soldier of Life and I will see you in the next one.